Microsoft and Quantinium have announced a major breakthrough in quantum error correction. Now, if you don't know what that means or why it matters, I'm going to explain it. There has been a major shift in quantum computing this week. Quantinium, a quantum computing company, and Microsoft have joined forces to move state-of-the-art quantum computing into its next phase. So, what happened? Together, the teams were able to run more than 14,000 experiments without a single error. That is exponential growth in quantum computing accuracy from just a few years ago and promises some incredibly powerful computers coming in the not-so-distant future. Here's why this is such a big deal. Quantum computing could solve certain types of problems at faster rates than are conceivable with today's computers. As GeekWire notes, that could mean everything from data encryption to the development of new synthetic materials at super fast speeds. The apparent breakthrough here ties to the combination of what's called ion trap hardware made by Quantinium and Microsoft's new qubit virtualization system. Qubits, if you don't know, are the basic units of information in quantum computing. Now, today, current quantum computers have a limited number of qubits. That's not really the problem. It doesn't matter how many qubits you have if the errors overrun them. The problem with current quantum computers is that you barely have time to run a basic algorithm before the system becomes too muddled to actually generate a useful result, or really, any result at all. In fact, historically, this error detection has posed a major problem for these computers. So this new team working on the project was able to combine several techniques that allow them to run thousands of experiments with no errors. Zero. So it's a huge step in the right direction to unlocking the commercial advantages of quantum computing. If a computer with 100 of these logical qubits could already be useful, imagine what an error-free computer with thousands could do. Of course, there are still problems to solve here when it comes to quantum computing, and this development does have the big players very excited. If that was a lot to get your head around, let me just leave you with this. Quantum computing could exponentially accelerate our ability to solve extremely complex problems. It was only a couple of years ago that logical qubits started outperforming physical qubits, and now Microsoft and Quantinium argue that their new hardware and software combination improves on using only physical qubits by up to 800x. That is a lot. Now, it is up to the rest of the quantum community to take this information and replicate the results by implementing similar correction systems. And if you really want to get into the weeds more on this story, there is notes from Frederick Lardenlaw over on TechWorks.com. But I'll just say this. I've been hearing about quantum computing for a long time. This is a big step forward, and honestly, I'm pretty excited. I'll see you tomorrow.